welcome back to my channel friends in our first video we discussed the main frame of this ADP 200 ER power supply for Sony PlayStation 4 I discussed what are the main parts of this power supply in my next video I discussed input filter circuit protection circuit and DC rail and in our this video we are going to discuss the standby section we are moving step by step and now we will discuss this standby section when we search for the service manual for the schematic for the circuit diagram we cannot find anything any useful material any helpful material because in every case you have to ask the manufacturer or you have to pay too much for the repair of these power supplies let's discuss the circuit in standby section it is using DAP041 DAP041 SY99194 or DAP041 this IC it have its footprint like this high voltage VCC drive latch feedback current sense and ground just only this footprint I found on the net so we will see the circuit how it is working first of all at this input terminal line and neutral where the bridge co connected the same points of the bridge bridge rectifier there is a full wave rectifier D41 and D42 two diodes here you will see two diodes and the two diodes the voltage will reach from this point directly to this through this 272 2700 ohms resistor to this jumper these two points are common then this resistor 272 resistor that means 2.7 k resistor voltage from here to this pin that is pin number 8 HV we can say it is high voltage pin or we can say it is we can say it is taking high voltage might be it is using for sense line or we will receive these voltage directly rectified voltage here and pin number four that's ground here is pin number one two three four pin number four is connected to ground so here is pin number four and it is connected to ground if you see this pin pin number eight is connected to this pin to this point this resistor here we have 2k2 two resistor 2700 ohm resistor then it is connected to these diodes 272 and 272 these two resistors are in series 5.4k 27 and 27 2.7 and 2.7 two resistors in series 5.4k resistor and it is connected high voltage are connected at this point what are the voltage even it is 100 volt AC or it is 260 volt so this voltage will reach at this pin so this IC will measure the voltage how much voltage are at input pin so it will adjust its duty cycle to adjust the voltage then we have pin number one pin number one is latch pin pin number one is connected to this resistor R69 and R69 second end is connected to first optocoupler so this optocoupler when the voltage will maintain so it will latch this pin number one it is to control the function so pin number two pin number two is connected to this resistor and then it is connected to second optocoupler IC 52 so pin number two is connected to this opto optocoupler second number IC 51 so pin number three is current sense current sense is connected to these resistors through this resistor and this resistor is connected to pin number 3 so it is to sense the current so pin number 3 is for current sense it will measure the current and pin number 4 is ground pin number 6 is used to drive the gate through this gate drive components here is the resistor diode and other components so this IC will switch this MOSFET 
it is 2 and 62k3 MOSFET two diodes at input high voltage at pin number 8 pin number 4 ground pin number 2 is connected to this feedback circuit pin number 1 is connected to this latch circuit we will discuss discuss these circuits in our next portion when we, we will reach in this control portion then we will see from where these inputs are coming here we have VC section we have one diode one capacitor VCC pin and one Zener protector if we come to this point we have one 0.16 ohm resistor that is R1 and this is very special resistor this is actually it is working as a current limiting not current limiting is working as a fuse resistor in any problem in any reason it is just only as a 0.16 that is nothing 0.16 ohm resistor it is working as a fuse resistor here we have one jump after that this positive voltage will reach transformer at this point this transformer it have four points at primary side primary side two points and two points this point is positive voltage the second this end is drive pin it is connected to MOSFET so MOSFET will drive this transformer and it will make pulses between ground ground is connected here through these resistors this point is MOSFET this is ground pin ground is coming from here through this jumper through these two resistors at this pin so ground will switch from here to here and like this and this IC will control the switching time by applying pulses at the gate so gate is connected to pin number 6 and the inner two pins this pin is connected to ground and this pin will provide VCC voltage, auxiliary voltage, bias winding voltage. So we will take our output from here to this rectifier and from here to here we have a jumper. Here is this jumper. So from this point to this point jumper and we have one capacitor here. This one, this capacitor. And then this voltage will apply to pin number 6. So we are taking VCC voltage from this point. Pin number 4 is connected to ground, feedback, latch, VCC voltage from auxiliary winding and here we have current sense resistor from this 1 ohm resistor, 2 ohm, 2 ohm in parallel and it will become 1 ohm resistor. MOSFET and MOSFET will switch ground level to this transformer winding and here we have one inductor one resistor and it is connected to positive voltage of capacitor. Now I will connect power supply through a series lamp. Friends if you don't have a good practical knowledge about power electronics never try to repair and always use isolation transformer and series lamp. Keep yourself isolated. First of all check voltage at this main capacitor 331 volt the voltage at transformer primary winding it is 331 volt so the main voltage coming through bridge rectifier it is coming here check voltage at pin number 8 of this IC it is 209 volt why 209 volt because it is coming through this bridge rectifier sorry this uh, full wave rectifier and after full wave rectifier it is passing through these two resistors this resistor and this 5.4k resistor so these voltage are reaching here 209 and this point and here we have 209 volt at pin number 8 so pin number 4 is connected to ground now we have to check the VCC pin that is pin number 6 and uh, test vo check voltage very carefully because it is SMD so it is 17 volt VCC and first of all make a correction in this video in our complete video I 
right pin number six here drive pin pin number six is not drive pin pin number five is drive pin pin number six is vcc pin seven is not connected i mentioned here in the diagram in the complete video pin number six is drive so kindly note that pin number five is drive pin pin number six is vcc and pin number seven is not used dap 041 pin number seven not used so let's continue to our video pin number one 1.1 volt pin number 2.42 volt pin number three is current sense zero volt pin number four ground so it is driving this transformer and we are taking voltage 17 volt at this capacitor this diode is rectifying voltage and we are taking voltage at this capacitor and these voltage are applied to vcc pin pin number eight is taking 209 volt from this full wave rectifier and after passing these two 5.4k resistors we are taking this voltage here so if you not find voltage the most common problem in this uh, power supply that is this power resistor if this power resistor is open most of the time this is power resistor is open so if it is open the whole power supply will not work because in the initial condition the standby section must turn on so if this resistor is bad the whole power supply will dead in the first step check this resistor R1 resistor in first condition check this resistor then this MOSFET after that verify this voltage at this capacitor it is 334 volt DC if you find voltage here but the circuit is not switching MOSFET this resistor might be suspected and in the output section we have this rectifier then we have this capacitor here 4.799 volt after that we have one filter here one fuse resistor this sometime the circuit is working but this fuse resistor is open if it is open the circuit will not work because the positive voltage will not pass then we have this inductor here at this point this filter inductor filter coil filter choke then we have a capacitor here output capacitor at this output capacitor we will find the voltage that is the output voltage 4.99 volts and these two one and two these two optocouplers are for our standby power supply this one and this one one is for protection and second is one this one is for feedback in the secondary section we have this stp20 lcd 60 rectifier capacitor inductor capacitor this is our output circuit rectifier circuit so this is the standby section so friends i hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it and if you want to watch my future videos you can press bell icon button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh